Hey guys! Welcome to Books and Blue Stockings. I'm Betty Bookworm and I read way too much into things. So, our book of the month, Lullaby, taught us all about culling songs. To recap, a culling song is a lullaby that kills anyone who might hear it. Today, we're going to learn how to sing an anti-culling song from a very special guest. I know that this particular guest has been very eager to be featured in an episode. Please welcome Paquetta the Good Fairy. Actually, my name is Rabina Persnickety Maliciosa, far superior to her male counterpart, Goodfellow Bad Lady. But you may call me Paquetta. I'm a consort to the Bad Fairy Court. I thought you were a good fairy. Well, I was a bad fairy, but then I got outsourced to the Good Fairy Court, and it's been kind of a tough transition for me. But I'm trying really, really hard to be good. Well, today you're going to teach us how to sing an anti-culling song. What exactly is an anti-culling song? Is it a song that brings people back from the dead? Damn it, bookworm! I'm a fairy, not a necromancer! Well, is it a song that saves people from the grips of death? Uh, no, not really. Then what is it? Well, if a culling song kills you, then an anti-culling song doesn't kill you. Duh. <sighs> we used to sing culling songs all the time in the Bad Fairy Court. We killed so many people. Now we sing stupid anti-culling songs about bunnies and crap. I'm pretty sure that bunnies have been known to kill. What?! If bunnies could kill, the Bad Fairy Court would have utilized them years ago. A man living in Santa Rosa was killed by a rabbit in 2002. You're totally lying! No, it's all right here in this book. Final Exits, an Encyclopedia of How We Die, by Michael Largo. <laughs> oh, that's messed up. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying yourself, but we still don't know how to sing an anti-culling song. All right. If you want to sing an anti-culling song, you just sing any song while clapping your hands. What? It's simple logic, really. Clapping saved Tinkerbell's life, and nobody in the history of forever has ever died while clapping. Clapping is not one of the listed causes of death in this book. So saith Michael Largo. I am 99% sure that that is the opposite of truth. Eh, shut up and let me sing. Me, 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 me. Na, 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 How does one romance the neck?